to my base. Uh, today I'm gonna show you my Miscrash portal, which is right over here. So, as you can see, it has a pretty nice monitor, a touchscreen monitor, and you can right click the page, choose one location, and then you go through the portal. I'm not actually gonna go through the portal because those pages aren't very interesting, but I assure you it works. So after all, uh, the highlight of this is the monitor. So you can see here that there's the main menu with all the pages, and each page has four different pages. And over top, over uh, over over here, there's the main button here. Yeah? Uh, disguised, that's the background color, which is blue. And it brings over the other pages. For example, this is page two, and I can go back to main. Uh, this is actually very intuitive to do because the main is the main button over here is all the way from here here and from and the bounty box is this line over right over here so if I click here I'm going to anything but if I click here it will so that's how I usually guide myself and yeah basically that's all the all the program uh, this doesn't have anything in it so yeah so let's let me show you the program. Uh, first of all, this is the main program. It has the computer over here has an ID of 7. I usually do that so for when I'm working with RedNet. Uh, I know which ID to use. And this is a turtle that puts all my ages in the portal. Uh, I'm gonna post a paste bin Paste bins on the description of this, of this of this video, so don't need to worry about that. So let's go to the main program. Actually, first of all, let's go to the button API. I actually edited it, edited it, oh, jump twist, so that I can do all the cool stuff I did over here. So. First, first uh, addition I did was to make the background color variable so that I can easily change the uh, color of the background. Then I added two more variables, actually three more variables to the name array thingy. It's text color, background color on, and background color off. So basically, when you do a set table, you put your name, your function, your coordinates, and then you put your text color, which is the color which the text is written. Uh, the big uh, background color on, which is uh, well, it's not running then, but if you click a button, it will turn the background to this color, and background color off. So when the button is off, it will be this color. Uh, let's see other things. Clear table, it clears the table so I can make the different pages. Uh, here's Dyer's uh, default functions thingies. Fill function and the screen. I edited the screen so the text color, background color, and, and background color on all work. And by the way, if you you want to use the default buttons, you can just set everything on the function to nil because then it will use the default colors, which is colors uh, text color white, uh, on color red, uh, off color red, and on color line. Then there's the flash button uh, function, which is uh, an upgrade of the flash function on the old Dyer's API. It takes the name and a, and a period of time, so it toggles the button, uh, which has this name, and it sleeps for a variable amount of time that you are able to put. 
instead of only the 0.15 or something that I had before. And this is the new heading function. It's called center text because it basically centers the text. Uh, and there's a catch over here, so uh, you can. Uh, but the center text in any line you want by putting this Y, and you and there's a check here to see if the text is bigger than the width of the monitor. So, for example, if you have a text that goes like from here to over the there, uh, it will actually print, uh, and then you will get an error saying that the text of the center of line Y. Uh, it's too long, so yeah, it's a nice thing to do. And other than that, is all the same API. So let's exit and let's edit main. This is the program that actually runs. It's this program right here. Uh, it wraps the monitor, it opens right there on the left, it loops the API button, and again, uh, that's how I get my computer ID and I print the thing starting to work then I set up my variables here so that I don't need to keep writing them over and over again also I put a turtle ID over here so that if you want to change it easily you can and here are the functions the bottom ones there's the send turtle which uh, sends the which sends uh, the string uh, to this third over here, which is turtle ID 8, and it flashes a button for 5 seconds. Uh, there's, there's the open functions, which send the turtle, uh, the string, the string over here, and the name of the button. And so, yeah, pretty easy, just the do stuff when you click button functions. And there's this, the screen functions, which actually draw the screen. And actually, there's uh, because there are uh, like three or four pages, I need uh, four functions for that. So as you can see, there's function set main, page one, page two, and page three. And so set main has a clear table. Actually, every one of those has a clear table. And an m dot clear. I center the text main menu, and each page has four ages. On line three over here, and I set the table of page one. On this coordinates, it executes the function page one, which is like down here, and it has nil for the text color, which is reduced to white. Nil for the on color, which never gets used and all of that black for the off color which gets used all the time that's why this is black and this is white it goes the same thing for the other three buttons and it is a screen so it actually prints the screen and same thing for uh, page one it clears table and so the main button on the top of pages uh, actually runs the set main program again the pay function sorry and with all the jazz my colors blue coordinates nil 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 and same thing for the set tables over here name one is like one matter portal it opens one the function over there coordinates yada 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 so, pretty simple, you can add four pages per page, and because page three doesn't actually have anything, I have it set to main, so it doesn't do nothing, and it actually, and the actual run command, it's set main, so it loads the, this first screen, which is the default screen, main screen, and it checks for the click, when you click it. Uh, that's that's all for this monitor, uh, so let's see uh, the third old, uh, program. 
So it opens Red Knight, Red Knight, Red Knight, Red Knight, right, it prints the ID, and it has a Red Knight .receive, and it checks if the computer, uh, yeah, it checks if the Red Knight message was sent from this computer, which is ID 7, so that's why I have if send ID equals equal 7. So I print. Uh, actually, the message is a string, so let me go over here to top, to the top. And so, as you can see, the string is this one. So one, two, three, four, five. It, it is essential that uh, it, the string is essentially a number. So because the turtle actually converts that string string to a number. Uh, why do I have that? Because RedNet only sends strings, but I need the string to be converted to a number, so that turtle, the turtle can select the slot. So, for example, this is a slot 1, and it places it in the portal, waits 5 seconds, and then it sucks it out. So, each, uh, my system is each page is one row of the turtle. Uh, so, and each number is actually the actual slot number. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So when I want to open, uh, for example, the oh my gosh, uh, the Nether, I can simply click the button. It will to open one, the open one function, which send. Uh, sends the turtle the turtle the string one and it also flashes the button and the string one gets sent to the turtle it gets uh, it becomes the mass variable it converts the mass variable the mass string to a number and then it selects and then it uses the new newly generated number to select the slot so yeah basically that's all there is to the program so let me reboot the computers and that's how everything works this opens thumbcraft yeah uh, hope you enjoy it again the paste pin links will be in the description so that you can download and everything. Uh, just a second, my cows were turned on over here. Maybe they should fix it. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it and maybe see you later if I get to do something even nicer with computer craft. Okay, bye.